Morning, guys. I just have one question for you this morning. Who doesn't love coffee? Check out my hat. That's Sweet Maria's. That's where I get my green coffee beans. And it's funny, when I asked the question, who doesn't love coffee? The answer would have been me up until 28 years of age. At 28, when I moved to Germany, that's where I discovered coffee. Up until then, I had never drank coffee at all. And now, not only do I drink coffee, but I roast my own coffee beans. And that's what this video is about right now. Roasting your own coffee doesn't have to be expensive. All you have to do is have a few bucks, a little ingenuity, a couple YouTube videos to help you along the way, and you're on your way to roasting your own quality coffee. Stay tuned and watch how I make my own coffee roaster. For anybody who's thought about roasting their own coffee, you may know what I'm up to. I was at the thrift store today. And it was the holy trifecta. I have a Flavor Wave Turbo Oven. A, that looks like about a 10 inch, maybe a 12 inch, um, spring form pan and a Presto popcorn popper. I'm going to be building a coffee roaster. I've got the parts all cleaned up. Let's start over here with the Flavor Wave Turbo. It's 1300 watts. It does have a manual timer, manual temperature going up to 500 degrees. And again, I'll show you just let me, without me even cleaning the bottom. That's the way it came right from the thrift store. Absolutely brand new. And I paid for it too. So this is the Presto stirring popper. And I know that the stir crazy is the preferred model. They had this for six dollars, including the lid and the original instruction book. I've disconnected the heating element, which was really simple. All I did was take off these four screws, remove this bottom plate, and it was real nice. Everything was very clear and wire nutted together. So I could just remove a wire nut, take one of the wires to the heating element off, and put that wire nut back on, and it was done. This is a, I don't know if it's a 10-inch or an 11-inch uh, spring form pan. The bottom is obviously not needed. I'm using this as a riser. Maybe it's going to be a bad thing. Maybe it's a good thing. This is rubber right here. So it puts gives a good grip right on this. Now, originally, I thought I was going to be using this in the um, contracted mode, like right here. But in the expanded mode, it locks in right between the handles and is really actually rather snug. It's kind of nice. The Presto stirring popper comes with a plastic center knob that secures the rod to the motor. So what I've done is I've uh, configured just by removing that original knob. And then I can put this large washer right over that center plastic. That center plastic shaft that's in the shape of a house is what was causing a little bit of problems. Then I have a same size fender washer that I can put on top of it here. And then a 1024 wing nut. And when I tighten that down, it's secure and there's no plastic showing. This popper is known for having a very strong motor, but it does have a reverse kick to it in case uh, in case of a bean jam. I'm getting ready to roast some beans. I've just started the first roast. I threw in some Sweet Maria's new classic espresso blend. Didn't even measure it, didn't even weigh it out. I'm guessing maybe four ounces maybe a little more. And I turned the timer on to 20 minutes or 15 minutes, and I set it at 400 degrees. Just gonna see what happens. I do like the fact that there's a nice bright light. It's a quartz halogen heating element, I guess. And uh, it really 
lets you see it. Now, you are influenced by the color, however. It's a yellow golden light. That might not be so optimal for, uh, for checking your roast color. I'll have to uh, use first crack and second crack as well as uh, smoke points for a little bit of information as to how far along this roast is. But it's an experiment. It's been going for about two minutes now and I can already see some chaff flying around inside. You can really see the amount of chaff really starting to increase. Okay, it's been going for about eight minutes now. And again, just a random first crack. We're approaching the 10 minute mark and the first crack is starting to become a little more a little more prominent but it's doing exactly what I was hoping it would do and it's a nice gentle roast I just increased the temperature to about 425 I'm getting readings of about 280 to 300 with this thermometer. Now, again, maybe the heating element is too far away. This 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 span might be too much. We'll see. I might have to get something shorter. That's about a three inch three inch uh, collar. But I figured the further away it is, it might take a little longer. But it would perhaps be a more even roast. You can see some smoke coming out now. And it's starting to sound like second crack. I've been cooling it by just flipping it in the colander and the light breeze today has been getting most of the chaff out. A total roast time of about 12 minutes. It looks pretty even, too. I mean, there are a few duds in there because the armature isn't the best that it could be. But for the most part, it looks good. So let me show you a couple modifications that I made. I got a second armature. I bought it from Walmart.com. Ran six, $6.75 with free shipping. And I just put it on upside down so it fit that strange house shaped spindle that the uh, popper has. I then bent it a little bit so it was offset. And it allows me to do a 200 gram roast really nicely. It really keeps the beans moving much better than just with one armature. I just want to show you the mixing action with the second armature on there. And it is much more efficient. Again, this is 200 grams of green beans. So the second modification I have is my popcorn cooling machine or tool. I have one and a half inch PVC pipe coming through the bottom of a five gallon bucket with an elbow on the end. And I just silicone that in place. And I picked up this uh, colander at the thrift store, cut a hole for it, and it sits perfectly in there. And then I attach it to my shop vac. So I'm now going to roast a second 200 gram batch and we'll be good for a couple weeks. There's my first batch. What I'm roasting is from Sweet Maria's and it's called the New Classic Espresso Blend. So let's get this started. So this being the second batch, it's already preheated. So I'm just going to let this run its course. I'm going to set my timer and I'll show you the results when it's done. So here's what the beans look like after a 12 minute roast. 
It's about 20 seconds into second crack. Nice and even, good color, a slight sheen to them. Very happy with the results.